Welcome back to Crowns Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within this options tutorial series. Today we will be focusing on expirations, expiration dates. How do they interact with the price of the option? What do we need to know with different expiration dates? And overall, how do we use these practically to understand the value of the options? So without further ado, let's get into the live scene right over here. Again, gonna be a shorter video, might need to be viewed multiple times, but that is the purpose of a series like this. Nice little introductory series. And what do we have? We have the smorgasbord of options. And as you can see, we have our first expiration period here. We have our first expiration period with the strikes in the middle, calls on the left-hand side, puts on the right-hand side. As you can see, we're slowly building this guy up. And this is all of the options expiring on this date. This being the, by the way, it's the European style of representing date. It can be very, very, very confusing for Americans out there, myself included. Uh, but you have the day, then the month, and then the year. So this would be March 8th of 2019. That means uh, quite literally in one week, as today is uh, March 1st of 2019. Happy March, by the way. Hope you're having the best March possible. So you'll notice that the closest up front expirations are actually going to have lower values of the options than further out and further out options. Sorry, expirations. So what does that look like? Well, we have this first one here. What does the expiration after that look like, which is actually the 15th of March? Well, you can see very quickly that the values of the options drastically rise. Let's just take the current at the money options. Uh, the current price of Bitcoin is um, 38.10. So what's the closest at the money? I suppose I suppose the 37.50 strikes are the, are the closest right now, just by hair. Um, it's like right in the middle between 37.50 and 38.50, but we'll just, or sorry, 38.75, but we'll just take the 37.50 ones for now. You'll notice on the ones expiring in one week, seven days, they, they are, they, the market is trading 129 at 144. Best bid, 129. Best offer, 144. Let's go see what that looks like just one week after an expiration one week later. Right over here, we have actually a little bit more of a premium, right? There is, they are bid for 173 and offered at 198. If we go another expiration, one deeper over to this March 29th, the end of the month, the monthlies essentially. Well, what is our 3750 strike worth here? They're currently being bid for $254 and offered at $260. So again, you can see that these rise rapidly as time progresses. And of course we can get strikes or sorry, we can get expiration dates, you know, out to like, I believe a half a year on Derivit. I'm curious how far it does go. Uh, this would be April, uh, April monthlies. This is June monthlies. This is September monthlies. So yeah, it goes all the way up to September. So quite literally about six months in advance. And let's just look at those same strikes. We don't even have the same strikes here, by the way, they'll add them as time comes on the front month expirations have, um, all every strike for one for for one hundred twenty five dollar move I believe it is, but the but the further outs will have it like every two hundred dollars or, or in this case every five hundred dollars. You can see right here basically the basically the closest at the money are still you know drastically uh, drastically heavier in price compared to what we were looking at before. So let's get back over to that and let's just discuss what does this mean. And we're going to get into a little bit more of a dissection on this. And this is a good leeway into the next video. But what does this mean? They're, they are decaying. Remember, when the option approaches expiration, it naturally will lose its value because the value of the option will only ever be parity. So it's it's losing its value as long as the price, uh, the price of the underlying is essentially remaining stagnant or uh, especially if it's going down. Um, barring any sort of a major up move, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to move all that much. With that said, just as an aside, the price of the options um, for the further out expirations, they'll barely move on any sort of a Bitcoin move. It would take like a large momentous move for them to really have uh, different, you know, di different quotes essentially. But basically, uh, if we go anywhere outside of, you know, especially the monthlies, uh, if we go into next month in April, um, it's going to take, you know, a 200, 300 dollar move to really to really get the price of these options to reflect a major change. My point is, is that it's pretty much, um, it's not necessarily accounted for, but they're less, they are less, um, less volatile in that way. They, they are less likely to react to that. 
So again, understand understand that sort of effect, as that can be a confusing point of uh, point of reference. So again, just to wrap up this video, the important parts are expiration dates happen well every week typically speaking you'll get more strikes as the expiration date approaches i believe once it's within um, a couple weeks you'll get every 125 dollars and or is it yeah actually up until the end of the month not bad hey not bad durabit i like it um yeah every 125 dollars the price of the option most importantly will the same strike at a later expiration date will naturally be higher because there's more time to expiration so there's a bigger premium to reflect that and of course, by the opposite side of the token, the closer to expirations, the one that, that, that are expiring faster, those options for the same strike are going to be worth less naturally to reflect that overall pricing of, or sorry, the, the overall total, the overall real value of just being worth parity with the price of the underlying. Again, to, re to recount what parity means, because maybe I should even do a video on parity, but... Um, I mentioned it last video, but uh, but we can do it again here. What does parity mean? Well, parity means that the price of the option, or the option's only ever gonna be worth what the price of the underlying is worth at the time of expiration. So how does that look like? Well, again, let's just use the uh, the, the example of a 3750 call strike option. We could buy one right now for, let's just say 130 bucks. That would be essentially saying that we believe that the price of the underline is going to be greater than 38, um, 3880 by the end of expiration. So that means if the price of the underline goes to 3880, we will actually just break even. So we're actually saying that it's we're actually saying that it's likely to go further, right? So I, I kind of worded that wrong, but basically you'd be looking for a bigger mo I mean assuming that you want to make money, you'd be looking for a bigger move. Now obviously, you don't always just use uh, buying options to make money. You can always you, you can use them to manage risk on, which I actually prefer to do it. Um, for the most part uh, I'm a seller of options, but uh, but that's a discussion for another time perhaps. Anyways, um, so understand understand how parity relates to the price of the option, which we discussed again last video, but I do want to rehash it here because it is a very important topic that I don't really feel like deserves its own video because it's just literally that like two sentence, exp sentence explanation. So it's good to just repeat, I suppose. Um, so again, that is what we're looking at here. Expiration dates. Perhaps I think the easiest thing to grasp, um, just a few points of contingency here. Keep in mind when your expiration date is, of course, again, your option's gonna you know decay faster the faster that expiration approaches. So these so if, if Bitcoin, if the price of the underlying of Bitcoin were to just literally stay stuck in stone right here at 3808 and a half, as I see, uh, or 3810 as you can see right here for the rest of the week, then everything out of the money will gradually come closer and closer to zero. As you can see already, the farther out strikes, they are pretty damn close to zero to begin with. If, if, I mean, if we, even if we look at the same far out strike in a later month, it's still, you know, relatively low. This for, uh, 4375 strike, you know, playing between $2 and, and $5. Uh, if we go to right over here, it's $10 and $20. So still very, you know, very low, but technically more. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Hope this one finds you well. I will see you in the next options tutorial videos. Take care.